What's good guys, if you want cheap, fast, and reliable NBA 2K20 MT as well as NFL 20 Muck Coins, please go to dvdj.com, link will be in the description, use code BUGS for 10% off at checkout. What's good YouTube, it's your boy BUGS back with another NBA 2K20 My Team video. Word on the street, the new content is out, just got home back from work. Before we get into it, let's spin this wheel, let's get some Steve Nash. We want a Steve Nash. We want some Steve Nash action we got it we got we gotta get him steve nash oh no not the 500 no keep going oh my that's a l oh, oh no bro we could have got anything but that oh all right we knew it was coming realistically all right daily spin l uh oh, all right so let's get into the new content i heard the content was fuego damn my hakeem didn't sell bro all right let's get into it so we got a ton of mt we're going to make a ton of MT anyways. We're going to make a ton of MT off this market crash. We're going to have a video on the market crash too. So um, let's see. New content is here. Prime time. Ooh, hoo, hoo, I'm loving it. So before we even get into the video, um, drop a like, comment, sub if you're new. You have a chance at winning 10K MT. Video's got to hit 25 likes. Smash that like button. So... Yo, here it is. We got Mr. Will. We got Caleb. All right. Honestly, um, before I even look at the collection, the cars with the most value are going to be Terrence Ross. Are going to be Terrence Ross um, because, well, I mean, he's going to have the most value if you get him to a, what, a pink diamond or a diamond. So that's available to, I think, a diamond. And Will Chamberlain is obviously going to be the most expensive. But interesting. There's not going to be a lot of value in these cards because there's no Evolve. So these cards right here are going to be cheap. So what I recommend buying, we'll see. Let's get into it, bro. So let's get into the video. We got K-Love. We're going to check out all these prices. I'm going to tell you what to do to buy them or not. Are they worth buying? All that good stuff. So let's see. Diamond Kevin Love. I bet you he's about 60K, maybe even less. Let's see. Diamond, not pink diamond. Diamond K-Love. He's probably under 60K already. Ooh, he's actually more. That's interesting. Now, I'm mm, interesting stuff. All right, he's about 60-something K. Okay, let's see, 68, 67. Okay, so my predictions right now, 63. Oh, okay. He's actually not that expensive. So, wow, there's a lot posted. So this is a common card to pull. Would I recommend buying it right now? Hell no. So right now, do not buy. Just wait a little bit. Here's the stats. Post fade, post hooks, obviously good. It, I mean, realistically, bro. We all know how Kevin Love plays, bro. He's still playing. He's got good badges. We'll go over it quickly if you didn't see the content. So what I recommend buying this card, I believe he'll go down more. You get him for like 55k or under. Honestly, bro, it's crazy how they're dropping diamonds. They're going to be this cheap already. Let's check out the Irving, but they already have a Diamond Julius Irving. Or they're going to have a pink Diamond Julius Irving. How much is Irving? Oh, he's 70-ish K. Maybe 69-ish K, 68-ish K, 60, maybe 68 right there, 66, okay. Cheapest one, 66, does he have a three? No, no three, decent mid, post fades, eh. Like I said, man, I would not buy these cards yet. His defense is not that good. His perimeter D is good, steals not. Rebounding's decent, speed's pretty good, yeah. He probably has all dunking badges, I would believe. Yeah, all dunking badges. So this card, not bad. Gotta get him for under 60. No, no joke. You, if you can't get him for under 60, do not buy him. You got When you look for these high price cards, you always want to get them for at least 10% under. So 66,000, 10% of that is like 7K about. So you try to you want to try to get it for 7K cheaper, just in case, okay? You don't want to lose your MT. But right now, I would not recommend buying. I believe he will go down a little bit more. For some reason, the higher overall cards always go down during the week. For instance, the Pippen and Hakeem. Uh, but yeah, so honestly, so far, the two diamonds are not worth grabbing. Let's check out Big Boy Wilt Pink Diamond Wilt Chamberlain. Let's see. Uh, let's check it out. Wilt, Mr. Wilt Chamberlain Pink Diamond. Wow. Three. Oh, my God. 307K. Oh, they finally dropped a tall center. I said they should. They did. I said Wilt was probably coming out. My well, I mean, I heard, and I guess it was right. I mean, you all know Wilt can't shoot. I, it's kind of generous they got him a 70 mid-range. He can't shoot. Driving dunk, standing dunk's great. 
Uh, steel block. I, you know, I think his steel should be a lot higher, but you know, maybe we'll have a galaxy. Oh, but we'll, we got great rebounding, good block, athleticism. Uh, yeah, Wilt's got an 85 speed. That is nice. He's got the Jets. He's got great badges, brick wall. Bro, he's got Jets. 85 speed, Wilt. Okay, that's interesting. Let's check out Ross's price. And I wonder if anyone's got diamond on him. Is there any Amethyst first? Let's check if they got Amethyst. There's got to be at least, ooh, 100K. You can make a ton of MT if you get them. If you get the Amethyst action. Uh, let's see. Terrence Ross probably worth buying if you really want to evolve him. His stats are probably crazy at Diamond. Bids are at 19K for this card. What? No way. This card is rare. Oh, my God. Yo, this is a rare card. 30 oh okay i was gonna say 28 is he really this much 25 you could get him for cheaper do not buy him now you'll see his price will be like 5k before you know it wow okay this dude the 2k auction's still broken all right he's probably around under 20k you, you could wait you could get him for at least under 10 and then evolve him dude if you evolve him you'll make a ton of mt for sure so right now just wait on the cards realistically. Honestly, it's not worth buying any of them right now. Believe me when I say that. It's just not. So we got K-Love. Matumbo's old. Doncic is old. Terrence Ross. Griffiths is old. Billy Cunningham. Wow, this is a this is a good actress to buy. It looks like a little budget baller action. Could shoot a little bit. Got great dunk. Post moves. Ooh, this card. How's this D? Ooh, okay. I like this card. We're gonna have some gameplay action with him someday. Um, Billy Cunningham's card is nice. Three-point mid-range, post moves good, dunks great, steals good. Ooh, this card 92. Not whoa. He even got bored. Six six. Oh, six six. Man, but he's good. I would not put him at the four. Keep him at the. Keep him at the three. That's the problem, bro. They keep dropping short-ass cards. But yeah, this card overall is probably the best card in the collection. This is the only card I would say you could actually buy. And Christian Latner is old. What else are they? Is it, is it Nick Van Axel new? I believe this is a new card. Let me see. Nick Van Axel is new. So let's check out his price. for Always the Amethyst are the cheapest. So let's see. Is it AXE? What? Am I going crazy? Let's type in Van. Nick Van Eck. I did I not type in EX? I don't know. Maybe I'm going crazy. Yo, this card is probably cash for three. Let's see. Is it worth buying? I mean, he's cheap. You could try to get him for 2K, 3K under. He, you know, he's a shooter. I mean, he's a great shooter every year. Got good passing, good steal. Yo, he's got good defense. This is an actually really good card. I might pick that up. Seriously looking for a dime point guard? I need to get that Jamal Crawford. I just wish I didn't have work every day. I would be grinding for him getting to a pink diamond. Then he turns into shooting guard point guard. But he's got 95 speed. What's his layup? His dunk's even a 75. This car is stacked. Wow. We're going to have a Van Axel gameplay too. But looks like he's under 15K, I believe. Let's see. Yeah, he's got to be under 15K for sure. Let's see. 16. Yeah. I mean, why isn't the auction working 2K? Fix your auction. He's got to be under 15K. So right now, um, this is an overview of the content. Honestly, this content is pretty good. Not going to lie. Honestly, the content's been really lame. Now it's good. So we got the Wilt. We got the Kevin Love that I love. You know, I love Kevin Love. He's great. I honestly really like this content here. The Julius Irving's good. The Latner, I mean, that's old. Billy Cunningham's great. Bro. This is the best content I've actually seen in 2K yet. I honestly got to give this a 9 out of 10. Uh, I really am a fan. I'm a fan of every card. Honestly, the Pink Diamond Moncrief set was really trash. But, yo, this, this is interesting. They got a really good... They got a stack point guard budget baller. They got a Terrence Ross budget baller evolvable. They got a Billy Cunningham budget baller. They got the Will, obviously, is expensive. But Kevin Love and Julius Irving are not expensive. They're like, maybe they'll drop to 55K. Honestly, 9 out of 10. Content, only ones worth buying is the Amethyst. And if you get Terrence Ross for cheaper. But anyways, guys, that's really all I got. Hope you guys enjoyed. Drop that like. 25 likes. 10K MT. 
Hope you guys enjoy. Peace.